when he passed away, there was, there, there's a tradition in Greece that <clears throat> the monks or the priests are buried in the monasteries, and then after three to five years, the bodies are exhumed and taken out of the ground, and then the bones are blanched and put into an ossuary and kept either under an altar or in a cave, etc. When they exhumed uh, Dionysus' body, they miraculously found that he was mummified, that his body was not decayed. Well, over my left shoulder behind me, there's an icon in the back of the church of St. Dionysius listening to a confession of a man that came to his island wanting sanctuary. And in that, in that icon, there are three men on a boat and their authorities chasing this man. And the man came to the island wanting sanctuary and Dionysius indeed gave him sanctuary. And then in hearing his confession, um, discovered a, a horrifying fact. The man who was confessing killed someone, was a murderer, and it turned out to be Dionysius' brother. And St. Dionysius needed then to struggle with, does he reveal this fact to this man, or does he struggle with this man in, in helping him becoming a Christian and finding salvation? And in our understanding, he helped the man become a Christian first before he ever revealed the, the, person that he, the name of the person that he murdered. Um, this was very important to the church in realizing what a great man of forgiveness he was. But in addition to this, they found that in uh, Dionysus' life, he duplicated miracles that are recorded in the Bible that Christ had performed. <clears throat> One day he needed a journey uh, to, again, the island, and he asked two fishermen to take him on their boat uh, to the island. It was during the morning times where it was the best time of fishing, and once they got to the island, um, these fishermen were very upset because they missed their time of being able to catch fish. The Anesius, realizing their struggles, imitating Christ and blessing the waters, and told the men to cast their, their nets into the ocean. And in doing so, they had a very successful day of fishing, as did the apostles in the Gospels. In realizing this, the church then made him a saint of the church, not only because of the stories involved, but that from that time, from the 16th century up until the present time, uh, the Anesius' body still is mummified. It's on the island of Zalkinthos at, at a cathedral that is named after him, and the body is placed in a glass casket or an ossuary, and of course people go and witness the fact that he's mummified, and they actually carry around his body, they meaning the church, on August 24th and on December 17th, the days that he's commemorated. Many times in his, um, when he's in his casket, um, people have gone, or his, th those who take care of him, the deacons, who have gone and tried to open the casket, and it's not, it, they can't. They can't enter it, and they realize that something is happening miraculously. There have been many visions of St. Dionysius who have, it's reported, that he's actually gone to other places and to visit people and um, to witness this when they finally have a chance to get into the tomb or into his casket. They find that his shoes are either worn, so that it's as if someone were walking, or they find them wet, as if he was literally walking on the ocean, or actually seaweed in them. In 1947, the church went through a fire. Uh, the icon survived the fire. In 1951, the great Kansas City flood uh, flooded the whole Armadale district where the church was right in its pathway. During that flood, everything was washed out. The, the walls were all mud. Um, the basement completely closed in with mud. It was uh, complete chaos. After the flood, after the waters resided, uh, the icon was floating down the river um, somebody saw the piece of paper just kind of going down the river, fished it out, it recognized that it was a Greek icon and had Greek uh, letters on it, brought it back to St. Dionysios, and uh, this is it. We consider it one of the miracles of our church, our patron saint.